Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to some Long Dark. We're about ready to take off on a little adventure, but I'm trying something I haven't done before. I just took off my pants. <laughs> so I took off the work pants and it went it went from plus 43 to plus 40. They were 3.3 pounds and they were like 3% reduction on sprint. Now the other things are gloves, minus five. These boots, minus five. These pants, minus five. This jacket, minus five. And the big one is my wolf skin, which is minus 15. So we're gonna try and go without pants. I mean, I've got my deer skin pants on. My current level is plus plus 40 degrees we are going at 58 pounds 58 pounds so hopefully this won't bite us in the butt I did not bring my sleeping bag and I didn't bring my revolver and I took out all my revolver ammo all I have is my rifle and my rifle ammo because right now we're gonna head off into the forlorn muskeg and Go straight through it, hopefully, and get to the Broken Railroad and check that place out. Because there's actually that really cool, um, what do they, I don't even know what they call it. Like, it's like a lodge or someone's, someone's like house. It's really cool. If I remember right, it has a basement, it has a big main floor and a big second floor. So there's going to be a ton of stuff over there. Either that or the, um, the maintenance yard will be a good place to to have another outpost outpost of goodies so we've got you know we got an outpost in pleasant valley we got one in the coastal highway we've got the main one here in mystery lake setting up outposts everywhere i like it actually one of the places i'm really excited to go see and hopefully i can survive to get there is the bleak inlet now this place is the one with the ammunition bench so that should be interesting. That should be interesting. You can see I'm, my red is a little above the three o'clock position right now. And if I took off my gloves and my, well, I can't take off my military jacket, I guess I could. You would see that, that bar reduced down pretty far. But you gotta, you gotta keep some more. So I'm gonna try and keep an eye on that temperature gauge, make sure I don't start dropping in temp. And if not, <sighs> I don't know. As long as there's not a storm. As long as there's not a storm. This will come in handy. Bandage. This should take us into Forlorn. I didn't bring like anything for fire, man. I am, I'm still pretty heavy, but I'm going pretty bare bone. I didn't bring a knife. Did I bring my knife? I might have brought the knife. I didn't bring the knife. Ooh, that could be a mistake. You never know. Forlorn muskeg. Place is pretty dangerous. Pretty dangerous. But when you get out there, it's kind of wide open, which can play in your favor, so you can at least see them coming. And I don't know. I don't know if the, these guys don't seem to hunt on sight, necessarily, because I've walked by enough wolves that have seen me but haven't come after me. Now, we're going to take a look and see if those towers still exist, because if they do, there was three towers in here, I believe. The thing that's dangerous about this place is there's not a lot of cabins. There's that in the middle, all right? There was a tower up over there somewhere. There's a tower up over there and a tower at the far end. And then at that end of the lake uh, is the, there's like a burnt out, you know, it's like a ranch because there's a few different houses there in story mode. And there was a forge over there. And I think it was out, the forge was actually outside, like in a barn. It's, it's way over there. I'm not actually, oh, there's a tower right there. Okay, so, oh, jeez. That is a lot of wolf sound. 
Alright, this, this hopefully <clears throat> wasn't a mistake. This sounds like a huge pack over there. There's the tower there. Okay, so that one still exists. And then there's one... I think the one over there is fallen over, so you can't see it till you get closer. Keep an eye out for moose, bear, and Paxo wolves. Oh, shoot. Watch where you're walking. Wolf right there. And right there. That's the pack that we heard howling. They are making their way toward me, aren't they? Tree stump. Alright, I just got scared by a tree stump. They have to scan like both sides. Do, 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 do. I think there's a bits of metal in some of these crashes. Some coal. Is it food or? You know what? I'm gonna take some coal and I'll leave it. Whichever. Yeah. See, there's bits of metal. I'm not gonna take the metal now. I'm gonna take the coal. All right. So this coal sitting out here is. That'll come in handy. Possibly, for the. Oh, look at this. Possibly for the forge that's in this area. But I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to move on and probably take it to the next one. Okay, so... That one we need to read. This one we need to read. A down vest and a bedroll. Some an antibiotics. Hey, it's the it's a poacher camp. All right. I, it's been so long, and I only went through here once down at this other end. I don't remember just how difficult it is to. Oh boy! And I said, when we see a bear next, I'm gonna fight him. literally have nothing I could run into like housewise so the other <coughs> excuse me the other forge is way over there somewhere there's how those rocks it's kind of a pain to get there because <clears throat> you have to cross a lot of water oh you guys I know I said the next bear but we're on a mission we're on a mission I think, I think the house is right there, way in the distance over there. So it, like to get there, it's it's just a pain. It's almost, I'm almost thinking that I know it's probably farther as far as linear feet traveled, <laughs> but we'll go in this way. We'll check it out, get an idea. I, I just don't remember how, how far in to get to the other one, until we get to that rail yard. So there's that thing there. To get to that, we have to you have to go up like that way. And that's where the the bear, the bear in story mode, that bear I had to kill with the mythical spear was just kicking my butt, man. He was tearing my clothes. It was it was not a pretty sight. Yeah, it's really hard to see over there, but I'm quite sure. I'm looking to see. Pretty sure there's some outbuildings there, and it might be there. When I came through, I ended up, I ended up right about here somewhere. Because I I was cross. Oh, because I came from the other tower, which is over there. I came from that tower to go to that tower.
There's another little section of stuff up here. It's like metal bits and pieces, I think. Yeah, that's... I can see it now. There was like an extension. It's like a little hut right there. Right at the top of my... And so back, back from that, back in that way is where the... Actually... I don't know if the forge could have been out there. I don't remember. It's been so long ago. Those stumps in the distance look like bears to me. <laughs> like, what's what's worse than a pack of wolves? You want to know? A pack of bears. <laughs> pack of moose. A moose in rutting season. See that little archway right there? I, I don't remember that. Yeah, it's weird. From here, I can't see that... Oh, there's the broken tower right there. So the broken tower is right close. Yeah. It's over there. It's over there. Hey, there's a little... thingy over there. That right there, if I was a developer, I'd put something in there like a bow, arrows, a gun, a revolver, something like that. In one of those, like... I don't know if it's like a ranger lookout. It could be a hunter's blind... I remember walking through here seeing some uh, scrap metal. Might have been just in the game, in the story mode though. Yeah, there's some scrap metal there. Hacksaw. Interesting. You know what? I'm going to take that hacksaw and I'll leave it in the maintenance barn in case I'm sh you know, I'm pretty sure there's one in there because of what it is, but if there's not, I might as well bring it with me. What good is it going to be out here? You know, what are you going to do? Hacksaw you some deer? I know you can, but are you going to? Weather's, weather's been treating us pretty good. Haven't been freezing at all. Not even wearing my second pair of pants or my, my second coat. You know, the... The, um... Whatchamacallits? The storms. They're pretty fun. But theoretically, they really just kind of waste your time. If you're, if you're caught out in it, like out in the middle of this, you're you're hosed. But if you're close to one of your places, you're just gonna sit in there till it passes by, eat, make a fire. I mean, obviously you have to have that stuff. There there is a little bit of pre-planning needed, but all right. Now I'm remembering in here. I had a, I thought I kind of glitched over a little thing. Was that this area? I never. I don't think I ever found the actual way you're supposed to go. I remember walking down where all the, the waterfall sound is. Then I walked up and it kind of looped around, I think. But this area over here, this maintenance yard's no joke. Like, it's it's pretty big inside and outside. A lot of debris there to work with. This is the area that I think you're supposed to go down to go around. We'll see if I can do the same thing again. I think I was able to do it going both directions. Landslide. I go down and around this landslide. But I was able to somehow, some way, without being able to jump. Oh, it doesn't feel like it wants to work with me. Oh no, look at this, this is different. It was never this big here. No, definitely different. Definitely different. Definitely different, but I'm having some success. Serpentining. All right. 
I'm going to go look this way. Because this is definitely the way you're supposed to go. <sighs> Alright, so you come down. You go across. And you get up this way. That's the way you're supposed to go. <laughs> Through my, uh, my superior art of serpentine, I was able to get around it. What is serpentine, meaty? What does that mean? Remember, I don't have any... The, the one area that, that scares me the most, not having all my stuff on me, is that forlorn area that we just came through. Without my sleeping bag, there's not... There's no beds around. There's no... I don't know if there's any beds in that area at all, to be honest with you. Even at that cabin, because I think the, most of the stuff in the story mode of the cabin was... It was all burnt to the ground. All burnt to the ground. Now, I don't think we're in a transitional area. I think this is Broken Railroad. I think you go from... I think you go from uh, the Forlorn to the Broken Railroad. So this this is actually the region. We're not in a transitional. And this forge is definitely farther. <laughs> it's definitely farther than the Forlorn Forge. The only reason I can see that I would need a forge would be if I ran out of knives and axes. And I've got backups for both, and I have some whetstones. So we'll see. This was an area in story mode where they had a cutscene with the bear. So I hope I can get through. Might as well take that. They had a cutscene with the bear. right here all right it was like he's coming right at me isn't he dude that I just wasted a ton of bullets on that dude and I know I hit him twice Sometimes I feel like I need to aim low, and sometimes, I don't know, feel like I have to aim high. And most of the time, I'm just a bad shot. Let's see. There's blood all the way up to here. He didn't get that close to me. But here's blood. He was flinging blood. I missed him the first time. Looked like I only hit him one out of three on that. All right. Oh, shoot. There's nowhere for him to go. Nowhere for him to go, which is a bad thing. There's the rail yard there. down this way. Dead end. Well, we should probably go down here at least once to know what it is. I don't think... Who knows? This could be the way to that... Uh, you know, the way the maps are. This could be the way to that other region up there. Dead end. <sighs> Beef jerky time. I think I'll take this stuff with me. I'm close enough to uh I'm close enough to the, the warehouse. Take some of this stuff with me. Alright. I'm gonna take a little break right here. Okay, I'm back. I got, had to go get some Haribo Happy Cola gummies that I got for Valentine's Day. Hope you guys all had a good Valentine's Day. I was busy on the day 
Well, today, as I'm recording this, actually is Friday the 14th, Valentine's Day. But you guys won't see this till later on. Hmm. I was busy. I didn't even get to tweet everybody and say happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. I'm just full of excuses, aren't I? We're just checking to see if this is anything here before we go down there. Broken bridge. Broken bridge. No, we want Hushed River Valley. Maybe this is a dead end? Oh, shoot. Oh, it's broken, all right. Hmm, interesting. They could actually extend this if they wanted to in the future, huh? Okay. Now we know. Now we know. You gotta know, right? Why is the music kicking in? Why is the music kicking in? Sounds like there's a moose. This is moose music. No, mu moose music. Moose music, music. Moose music. Say that three times fast. I dare ya. Every time I find rifle rounds, I pop off some really bad shots at wolves. All right. Live and learn. So this should cut down here to the maintenance facility, the maintenance yard. There's that one wolf. Might still be around here unless it actually bled out, but I don't know. I don't know if they do. I know they, they say they do with arrows, but moose don't bleed out. But look how big that building is. That's what I was talking about. And then way in the distance up on the hill up there is some kind of family lodge. There should be, if I'm not mistaken, a forge here. Basically, this would be the second of three forges. We found one at each, you know, this is the southeast, or this is the northwest part of the map, and then the southeast part of the map we found one, based off the orientation of when you hit map. Nine times out of ten, those guys just don't. Well, he's still alive up there somewhere. Oh, I see a wolf there. Okay, we have one, two, three vehicles, a lot of pallets of wood. Snowing really nice. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Thirty minutes harvest. I should be doing this outside, right? Maintenance yard. No battery. There's wolves around here. So you can go in there and go in here. I think I can use this. Some practical gunsmithing. It's a standard issue book. I 
I'm gonna start collecting stuff because I'm gonna leave. I think I'll leave some stuff here. Oh, I almost missed this. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Yeah, no kidding, dude. No kidding! Why don't you leave your rifle behind? Like the only thing I need. Oh, there's a bed in here, but check this out. This, oh, plus ninth warmth. I'm surprised with it being open like this. I would think this would be a lot less, but. Why did that music kick in again? They hate the light. I could use this. Grabbing some more. Oh, I'm gonna grab that. Grabbing all this stuff right now. Really over overweighing myself. Alright. Looking under. This is where the forge should be. Hmm. No warmer in here. Forge should be over there behind that truck. I'm actually finding a lot of books to read. There's a hacksaw. This place is huge. Like, there's a lot to search in here. Could end up being useful. Flare shell. Okay, let me figure out. We got this thing here. There's the forge right there. It's got to be a. I need to find like a cabinet or something close hope I can still eat this you can eat anything you want friend getting pretty heavy Here's a little fire barrel in here, too. Wow, so they have not only the forge, but a little fire barrel in here. Grab some of this stuff and throw it over by the forge. I'm really, really heavy right now. Like, I've really kind of exaggerated. Looks like you can possibly go up. <gasps> is that what I think it is? Oh, my gosh. Where did we need this in? The, ra the ravine. The ravine. All this gear is slowing me down. The ravine, you guys. I gotta go drop some of this stuff. Like a lot of this stuff. I'm so heavy. I wanna go up top. If you've got like a hacksaw and stuff, axe, knife, this place would be really good. Now we gotta find a crate that we can put all this stuff in. So the beds are the bed is over here. Here's the bed. There's some more stump remover. There is a refrigerator there. use the refrigerator but here's the furnace or the forge I'm trying to figure out like what's the best place to put all my stuff hope nobody needs this anymore
Wow. So the lockers are 66 pounds. This, it might be good just to use a locker. Might be good to use a locker. Eater, eater. What have we here? I got so much stuff on me right now. It's not even funny. Alright, so this is actually next to the forge. I'm so fast. I think I can use this. This is gonna take forever to get over there. No lockers by this, huh? There are lockers in there, and that's the, that's like the bedroom, bedroom, that's the room with the bed. I need a place to store my mountaineering rope. Oh, that made me even slower. All right, you guys, take bets right now. What weight do you think I'm at? What weight do you think I'm at? We're gonna find out. I'm gonna put this stuff in these lockers. Ready? 135 pounds. <laughs> That's a lot. That is a lot. I could use this. Uh, I can't. I actually can't move at all now. All right. Cole. Now, these books I want to... I want to read. This one, this one, this one, this one. a lot of extra clothes just in case these might weigh this whole thing down but that's okay that's meet my coat okay this 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 this, the mountaineering rope, buy them. That, 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 the lead, metal, the stump stuff. Oh, I've, I've overloaded that one. This will come in handy. Okay, where were we at? Right here. 11 cloth. Let's transfer that much. Got to read these books. When did I find another fire and repair kit? That and that. <laughs> I brought my snare. How much does that snare weigh? Uh, okay. I brought the snare with me. Can you guys believe that? Can you believe that? All right, we got more to collect. I know. I know I'm crazy, Mr. Crazy Collector, dude. Climbing socks. So I try and do it all at the same time because now I'll have to kind of go back through the same. Wow, dude. More books. I'm not the. All the food I got, that's good. It's a good thing. Why? Because I'm going to have to read all these books and it's going to take like a full day. And I, I just, I like to get through them. I just like getting through them. We're gonna go upstairs, though. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, take a peek.
peek underneath everything. Looking for bullets. Looking for bullets. All right. I need to drop here. something. I know you need to drop something. What else did I pick up here? Picked up some clothes. Shoes. This. This. Yeah, definitely need to read these books. Oh, these books too are very heavy. Those books there are very heavy. All right, let's take a quick peek and make sure that these are actual practical gunsmithing. What time of day is it? It's almost time to sleep, so let's get next to this bed. This one gives us nine. All right, get next to the bed. Um, let's eat something. What do we have? I want to try and eat the heavy stuff first. Try and get rid of the, my heavy stuff. Banged up pork and beans. You guys ever had pork and beans out there? You know, growing up as a kid, I would, you know, take off the label, open the lid, and put the thing right on there. But nowadays, I guess that they line them with, uh, they line them with stuff that could be very harmful for you. Like, you know what I mean? So that sucks. Or was it always like that, and I just didn't know about it as a kid? So I could have been, you know, whatever. We'll go as long as we can until it goes dark. Okay. Go about... We can go 10 hours. It might be light enough to read. We got a lot of books, you guys. We got a lot of books. We got to go through this. We got to go through this. 1.15 gallons. Jeez wow. Louise, that's a lot of weight too. Uh, more food. Eight. It's definitely what's for dinner. Yeah, you know how they like line the tin. They or maybe in the old days they used to be tin like real and now they're using like steel and they line them you know what i mean it's i don't know is it light enough to read yet it should be it should be yeah it is just in time all right so that's one that one's done this one got five hours worth of research you gotta stay next to the bed because it could go dark on you and you just can't see anything. All right. <laughs> cool thing about doing this is you can actually watch. You can watch your food and uh, everything. So this one's done. This one's done. This one. Research. You can watch it. If you're about ready to get clipped off, then you can cancel it. Drink. Oh, see, now here's the problem. I don't have anything that's, like, really good filling for food. Crackers sometimes are. They'll kill your water, but that's okay. As long as you have, you know... I got almost a gallon. gonna need to be about 11 hours on this one because that thing's still still pretty low actually i probably should have did 12 hours it's probably gonna be too dark in the morning that's two days of reading <laughs> two days so far we're not even done so you'll really go through your food and water doing this if you're not leaving Let's see if we can read anymore that one's done Another five hours. Too dark to read? I can see. Alright, we wanna we did this one and this one and this one. We have this one and this one to do. Okay. 
Just while we have some darkness, some time. Six pounds, I'm not even using it. I I didn't know. I'm I took off my pants, like I said, the adventure. I adventured pretty far. Yeah, I should have slept for 12 hours. That was my, my mistake. Okay. I gotta be careful because I'm actually pushing it a little bit with the uh with the food here. Pushing my limits. Okay. So that one should be good. That was stay on target, right? Last one would be the wilderness one. Watch my food and water. All right, good. We're done. We're done. That was worth though, you guys, right there. That stuff, heck yeah. Okay, before I do anything. Oh, what do we have to work with here? This, it's 500. That's not bad, those bars aren't bad. A drink. I'm also trying to, you know, in some sense get maximum, but also get rid of some of the weight. So, something to keep in mind. The, the drinks give you a little bit of both. All right, we're good. We've got a, just a little bit of time. See if we can go upstairs. Um, where else didn't we look? Uh, down here. Plenty of wood. You can break down the crates. It's a rake. Can I get to the front of this truck? No, it's not not searchable. There's a sodi pop right there. Oh, there's a workbench. Look, workbench, whetstone, cloth. Okay, so we got a workbench in here, and a forge and a fire barrel. So that's good. You know, if I broke down this stuff, I would find something, right? You know, there's stuff hiding back there underneath these cardboard. That'll come in handy. One bullet in the toolbox. So this is, uh, I've got a lot of stuff here. It's not all like the perfect stuff, but there's a lot of good loot here. What? Didn't it totally look like I could go up there? I really thought I could go up. Guess there's nothing up there. All right. I don't think there's actually enough coal here for the forge. Some cloth. Let's go back. I don't think, we, did we walk over to, no, we didn't walk. So there's a little bucket there of the coal knocked over. We can just leave that there. I don't need to pick that up to put it in, in there. Leave this coal here. Six charcoal. Someone's been forging. Somebody's been forging. Ah, oh, thought maybe something was hiding back here. You will be. All right, sleep, and then we're gonna head up to um to that, whatchamacallit. We got our forge here. We've got a lot of stuff here. I think I searched it pretty good. Pretty good. Broken metal control box. You can break that down. Yeah, all right, let's get back over before it gets too dang dark to where we can't see. We're gonna get out of here in a second, you guys. Okay, papers, didn't pick up any meds, didn't pick up any clothes, can, this guy, um, at that, eh, 
We'll leave the whetstone here. Whetstone's pretty light, but I'll leave it here for now. That'll... I'm taking a little bit more of this out. It's, it's kind of heavy. All right, we're good there. Um, just in case, I'm going to top off. I should have used a... Should have used one of these. Food and water. My mistake. All right. 12 hours of sleep. We're going to head up to the lodge. Maybe we'll encounter a bear or a moose along the way. Oh. It's a uh, Aurora night. Did you hear it? Kick in? An Aurora Borealis night. It sounds cold outside. All right, how are we on weight? All right, good. Our weight is down to where it should be. We've dumped everything out that we don't need. I don't know why I'm carrying this snare with me. Should have left that back at the other house. That was a definite mistake. Hey, that, 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 everything's looking good. Tinder, one accelerant. Right. Let's wait another hour. Because it does sound windy outside. I gotta be able to see up there. Okay. Let's get out of here. It's a cool place. If I remember right, if like memory serves me correctly, I, I really like the place on the hill. It's over there somewhere. Kind of a, I was gonna say, it's kind of a bear to get to. Wink, no pun intended. But I think this is a good place to leave, leave all that stuff for now. Again, as long as I can remember where I set up my, my own little cachet. The wolf right there. My own little caches. Two wolves. Looking for it on the hill. There's a lake in between us and it. That guy's gonna come back for some payback, isn't he? Definitely hit him in the hind leg that time. Can't even see it. I'm, I'm sure it's up, up there somewhere. Why do I feel very exposed here? Why didn't this guy show up? I saw this guy, which made me maybe want to draw that, but I didn't see it on the map. This stuff will come in handy. I'm not taking that. I'll take that. Trail boots and a soda. Where is that lodge at? I think, it's, I think it's right up there somewhere. I gotta go that way via that bridge.
I'm gonna check out this hunter's blind. I, I've never, I've never come over here. There, I think there's a, like the climbing rope that you find in the, in there, in the maintenance thing, you use to get like a shortcut here, but no way, I'm using that climber's rope for, um, I'm using that climber's rope for the ravine. Which Hope means I, needs this anymore. I gotta haul it all the way back at 11 pounds. I think it's the same weight as a rifle. Should be able to. Now the other thing up here is that we're here, we're, we're going, I think like, I don't know, Hushed River Valley, like maybe the exit is up here as well. I don't know. It seems like it would be in theory based off how the map's drawn. Could be through there, but I think that this goes two different directions up here. Hushed River Valley. Now in the story mode, when I was coming up here, I got a, I got attacked by wolves, like a uh, cutscene type attack. So could be a tarp. I think it was a total trap. So what we have to do is hook to the left. And I think if maybe if you go straight, you can find that hushed river valley. I don't know. I don't remember if it looked like there was two different ways or not, or if it just curved around. Seems like it just curves around, doesn't it? I feel like this is the way to Hushed River Valley. There's a cave right there. Oh, we're so close. We might as well go check it, right? What if I don't check it? And then I'm like, oh, I know where to go. And I come all the way back here. We're going to Hush River Valley, you guys. I come all the way back here and it's not. Like, oh, that was stupid. You were right there. Why didn't you check it out? Little furry creature. One of the standard ones? Oh, it looks like one of the standard ones. Oh no, see? It's a good thing I did check it out. This isn't the way. Looks like it's looping back where I was. Hmm. That looks like it's looping back where I was. I came up this way. No, maybe I'm up higher in the mountain? Hmm. Interesting. I don't know where I'm at. meat 
not worth my time. Rickety footbridge. I think I crossed way back over there. Alright, music's kicking in. That usually means something good or really bad. This could have been a completely different way into this region over here. Like a bypass. Oh shoot, I did not even see that dude. I'm going back, you guys. I'm going back. I wasn't planning on going to that area anyway. Look it. I just drew, I'm, I'm back by the landslide. I'm, I'm, this, is this a shortcut? Wait. No, I drew this one, then this one, then this one. This is the landslide, okay. I'm going back. Shoot, I'm so far over here already. Oh, it's a mountaineering rope. And there's not one here. This is a shortcut. What? Look, there's the... That's the maintenance yard. And here's the mountaineering rope thing. There's the wolf. That'd be, that'd be a waste. That'd be a waste of the rope. Hmm. See. I don't know how to get there. Hush River Valley is the ninth region to be added. The region connects to Mountain Town via a cave that runs from an area between the trailer and the Spruce Falls Bridge to a ridge at the top of the valley. Oh. So you don't get there from here. You get to Hush River Valley from Mountain Town. Not from Broken Railroad. All right, well, that's good to know now. Out here wandering around the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Oh boy. Hey, you just stay over there, bud. Stay over there and I won't have to shoot you. So, I, I believe there would be like this lodge, this mystery lodge that I'm trying to get to. I think it has a mountaineering rope tie-off location too. So two different shortcuts. They give you one mountaineering rope at the um, maintenance yard. But honestly, for me, I'm going to take it back with me and drop it over there in the ravine. Because I don't know. I don't know how to get down there. I guess I could look. Golton? Gollum? I don't like being in these little draws like this where I can't see what's just over the ridge. Because there could be just a giant bear waiting for me. Moose! Oh, those things right there. I wonder if they give you some kind of achievement to find all those things. I like... I like doing completionist tasks in, uh... in a lot of stuff, but, uh... Yeah, not that. <laughs> not that, because I've already passed up enough of them to where it won't work. And if there's 165 of them, 
like, no thank you. Wow, I traveled a long way over here, didn't I? Taking a chance, like running right along the edge where I can't see. Not overloaded. Getting tired pretty fast. Maybe it's all the sprinting I'm doing. Wrong Buto. I hit C again. Let's see if this guy has 2.2 pounds of meat. 2.4. Jeez, take a breath, dude. Chill out, brother. Which tree was it? This one? It seemed like a good way to go because of the down tree, but apparently, according to the wiki over here on my other monitor, it's saying Ninth Region connects to Mountain Town. We're gonna go to Mountain Town at some point. This is the part that plays on my whole loot scavenger thing. I've got, you know, I've got stuff, again, coastal. I got stuff here now. I got stuff in Pleasant Valley. But it's like, is it really stuff that I need? No, I need my good clothes. I need always food and water. And I need my bullets and my guns. Whetstones. Without that, it's like, look, if I run out, there's another one of those things right there. If I run out, I know where I can go, right? Or if I accidentally harvest my rifle, I know where to go. It should be right up here. There it is. All right, I better walk. That's moose running. All right, we got, there's a wolf. This is moose running right here. They rub their antlers on the tree. Two wolves, three wolves, two wolves. One there, one there. Oh, he's looking at me. Bunny rabbits. Good area for rabbits up here. I'm gonna go out back and see if there's one of those things I was talking about, the mountaineering rope drops. I thought there was in story mode. Maybe not hunting lodge. Where's the lake? Oh, the lake is way over there, okay. I guess not, maybe I was wrong. I mean, I was definitely wrong because it's not here. <laughs> I was wrong, man. Wheelbarrow. Some cars out front. Beef jerky time. I didn't bring my pry bar. Lead vehicle. Enter vehicle. Consume beef jerky. I think I can use this. A little glitchy in that one. I can barely walk with this much gear. Yeah, I know. on me.
this is as fast as I can move with those stinking batteries on me. Oh. Oh, shoot. How far away does that door feel right now? I hear running all over. Those things, man. I shouldn't have shot right there, I don't think. That, they both took off, though. Let me in. I need to drop these batteries. Pretty nice. This is where we found that. The Sword of Destiny. So you've got a fireplace, the Sword of Destiny holder. Then you've got the nice big cooking station. This looks like you can actually cook six things at once. I guess if you lived here and you just hunted the deer and everything, it'd be a pretty good place. All right, I'm gonna drop these batteries. There you go, car batteries. We got a cooking book we can read. I'll just do what I normally do and grab everything. All right. So, where are we at? We're in, um,. I'm just t I'm checking real quick to see if there is a possible uh, revolver location in here. Okay, so broken railroad on a metal shelf in the basement in a car or a truck parked outside under a bed on the second floor or in the sheltered office attached to the maintenance yard in a flower pot. We did not look in the flower pot down there, so I have to remember to do that on the way by. Wood. So bring the wood over by. Those are those those logs there. They like burn forever. Some fish. A rabbit. Is it food or? Ruined rabbit. No, I ain't eating that. Okay. Firewood bin. What have we here? Just put this firewood in here. Also keep things organized. Oh. Excellent. Found one. All right, we got a revolver, a second revolver. Found it. All right, we got a workbench in here. Hope I can still eat this. It's a nice place. Like I said, if uh, you're in a survival thing and you feel like doing something different, come up here. Obviously, there's a. Uh, there's wolves, there's deer, there's a lot of rabbits. It's a decent sized area, but not being too big, like, to, you know, look around everywhere. If you have your, uh, you got your forge, if you got your hacksaw and your tools, you got plenty of metal in here, all this metal in here, as well as the metal in the, uh, the maintenance yard. So it's not a bad thing. Not a bad place. You got the big cooking stove. You haven't even seen it all yet. This is the basement. You got cloth with all the curtains, right? All these curtains are cloth. You got this whole big room here. Uh, see, I always look for a nice storage thing, though, because I like to hang out basically by this. But those other ones are better because the bed, like the one I'm in, the bed is right next to it, which is really cool. All right. I think I'll finish searching this one, you guys, and then we'll come back next episode and hopefully between then and now I'll figure out what I want to do next. All right, see ya!